guys i'm back what's up what's up what's up what's up what's up <laughs> today i'm gonna tell you what's up i'm gonna show you guys how i make my homemade meat loaf i think i have another one up this one gonna be a little different i'm adding a special ingredient i want y'all to stay tuned yeah to see what that special ingredient is okay y'all ready y'all ready okay scoot your chair up and come on let's get started okay today i'm gonna be using just salt okay 50 percent less sodium and pepper that's how my mama did it my mom didn't use all them different ingredients and herbs. There ain't nothing wrong with it because I do it today. But all that was available in my house, in our house, was salt and pepper. And that did the job. And we was like, ooh, mama, that is so good. Okay? So I'm going to follow my mother's tracks with making a meatloaf, okay? So salt, pepper, tomato paste, and today my special ingredient is, don't show, oh, my special ingredient is tomatoes. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to cook them down, and I'm going to add them into my meatloaf. And you talking about finger licking good and licking them fingers real good? Mm. Y'all gonna see once I get it all mixed up, okay? So, what we gonna start with? I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna bring you guys over to the stove. Okay, okay. so we gonna start off with like a half a cup of olive oil. Okay, use the olive oil of your choice. Okay, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, and I'm going to put my tomatoes in there. Okay, see how they start to, like, wrinkle up and start to burst? That's what I want them to do. I'm going to let it, let them cook down some more. I could have very well, like, boiled them, like, stew them. I don't like that taste. I like this taste right here. I'm going to add a little salt, just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to let them finish cooking down. Once they cook down the way I want them to, then I'm going to add my green peppers in with it. Okay? Now I want them to look like okay trust me this tastes so good this is even good y'all over some toast trust me when i tell you it is so good oh yeah and i like fry me an egg and i let this cook down just a little bit more and it's good to me okay so now, I'm going to add my green peppers, yeah, my onions, and garlic. Y'all know I get it all off of here. I just don't like wasting nothing. Mm -mm. Not if I can help it. 
We're going to mix that up in there like that. Oh, yeah. We're going to let those flavors immerse, intertwine all together. Okay. I'll get tomato. Cook in some more. Okay. So I'm going to turn that down and let it cook real nice and slow. Real nice and slow. Okay. Come on over. Say it again. Okay, what we're getting ready to do now, move down a little bit. What we're getting ready to do now, we're going to get this meatloaf all worked up. Okay? We're going to work this meatloaf over, but not too much because you don't want it to get uh, too mushy. So. Add a little bit more. Okay. Now, I just take it. And what I got in here, guys, some people use breadcrumbs. Some use oatmeal. But today, I got me some panko crumbs. Okay. It holds it together pretty good. So I'm just going to kind of like turn the meat, like fold it. That's what I'm meaning to say. I fold the breadcrumbs in there. Add one egg. Bless you. That's the pepper, y'all. And she turned her head the other way. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you she's turning her head the other way. My another one. She ain't going to waste no food. Mm. Yeah. Now, with these, you don't want to add too many because it'll make your meatloaf too stiff, you know? make it like airy. This does make it nice and light. Gotta make sure that egg is mixed up in there. back over here and you wanted to cook down some I like to give it a little toast taste a little kind of grilled little smoky taste so how I'm going to achieve that I'm going to let these cook let this juice render down some more it is a little too wet for me right now. I'm gonna let all the flavors incorporate in there real good. Okay. Let them get a little sear. A little sear. I got my all turned up on high. So I'm gonna let that sit there, guys. We just see how it got is all ready to make a good low. Good low. I'm gonna let my veggie sear. 
Let them cool down just a little bit. Let them cool. Let them rest for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to bring them over. And I'm going to bring you guys back when I bring over the veggies. And we're going to mix it all together. Get that loaf together. Put it off in that oven. And you talking about almost can't wait until it's done. That's how it's going to be, y'all. So I'll be back at you. Okay? Okay? I'm going to take these on up out of here. Got that little that scorch taste that I'm looking for. Okay, we put that in. There. Okay, so we got that sauteed taste that I'm looking for. Like I said, excuse me, guys, for all the noise. But I got a handle on this spoon. <laughs> Can't nobody tell me no different. Look at that. Don't that look good? And just the way it look is the way it's going to come on up over here. I'm going to get all that goodness off this spoon. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Get all that goodness off of there. Okay. And I'm going to set them to the side. Now, I'm going to take my veggies hmm I'm thinking about something y'all I'm thinking about putting some of this on top with my sauce I'm thinking about it I'm thinking about it because the sauce got to go on top of the mashed potatoes so I'm thinking I don't know I probably just go ahead on and put it in because I'm not trying to have a spaghetti taste on top of Sound kind of good to me. So I'm gonna turn this over in here without trying to, without burning my hands. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there like I'm supposed to. I experiment with that some other time and bring it back to y'all, baby. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna mix that on up in there. It's a little hot. I think got better use the spoon. Told you I had a hand on this. <laughs> yeah. I should have let it cool more, but I got to get this on up in the oven because it's kind of laid up around these pots. And I ain't trying to be up all night while I cook. Okay. I think that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do, I realized it still had a lot of juice. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add like a half a cup of pink water in this bad boy. Half a cup. Half a cup. Just to bring it back together. Because I don't want my meatloaf falling apart. You know? Ain't nothing worse than meatloaf falling all apart. You can't even slice it. This going to be a big old behind meatloaf. I mean, this going to be a big old meatloaf. Okay, guys. Guess what? I had to end up using the whole bag of panko corn. Because I, I actually had like, uh, one, two, three. I had like 15 pounds. No, three pounds. What the heck I'm talking about? It looked like 15 pounds. No. Um, I had something like. Three and a half pounds of ground beef. Okay. So now, I'm going to take it and I'm going to transfer it. 
uh oh. That's all right, I was done with that. Into my pan. And get all this goodness out of here. Okay guys, I'm going to take this, I'm going to slide this on up in the oven. I'm shaping it into a loaf. Okay, there you have it. Now, this is going to go in the oven. I got my oven already preheated to 375, okay? I think I'm going to take it down to 355 because it's kind of thick, and I don't want it all pink on the inside. I don't play that. Mm -mm. I don't want nowhere meat. And I'm going to let this cook for a good hour in about 20 minutes, okay? And I'll be back at you. We're going to take and put some sauce on top. All right? And we're going to let it cook. But let the sauce cook in a little bit, not by too much. And then we're going to take that sauce. I call it red gravy. And I'm going to take that. And I'm going to spoon it out on those mashed potatoes. Have some corn with it. You talking about a good old home cooked meal? This is it right here. So I'll be back. Okay. I forgot to tell you guys, so I'm gonna add like a cup. One to one fourth cup of water. Okay. And I'm going to cover it with some foil. And then let it cook for that hour and 20 minutes. Okay? So I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys. I'm going to make my sauce. Here. I'm going to make my uh, sauce for that meatloaf. Empty out my cans. I have three cans here of uh, tomato paste. Okay, so the cans are open. And what I did, I went ahead and added a little bit of basil, just a pinch. About a tablespoon of parsley. pinch of black pepper and I don't want any salt and this I'm going to do like a teaspoon of sugar and I'm going to mix that nice and thick y'all want some thick tomato paste I went on ahead and I drained the fat, grease, whatever you want to call it, off of my meatloaf. And I'm going to cover it with my tomato sauce. Then I'm going to make a gravy out the rest. But I want to kind of thick, somewhat on my meatloaf, 
Okay. Okay, I made a tomato sauce. I love tomato paste. Then I'm going to take that and bring that around. And it's going to cook in real nice and beautiful. Can you guys see? And I'm going to bring you back when everything is done. When the plate is all served up. guys I'll be back after I mash those potatoes and get that corn all good nice and good and buttery okay I'll be back let me put a little light on this so you guys can see this pretty good okay so, I'm going to let that cook. You don't want to cover it because you want this to get like almost like, you know how icing is on the cake? Well, you want that tomato paste nice and sticky. So, when you cut it, it'll be on every slice. Okay. So, that's going to go back in. And I'll see you guys in a second. Well, not a second, but. I'll see you guys so guys it's all ready I've allowed it to cool for about a half an hour cut myself a piece and I'm gonna cut myself another piece Oh, it's been filmed. Right. Okay. Mm. I'm going to take the corn and set it right there. Right there, guys. I don't want much of that. But I am going to feed you first. We already know. We already know how to go. I'm just like that. Feed y'all first. Pause. Let me suck at that. Mm. That meatloaf. Can't even say it right. That meatloaf is done all the way around. Oh, yeah. I'm going to let you taste some before I taste. Get your little butter on there. Get your little corn on there. All right, let's do this right. Let's get you a piece of meat. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to scoop up some corn. Oh, here you go, babies. Here you go. Come on now. All right. Mmm. It's real good, y'all. Oh, thank you, Father. God is so good. Even when we greedy, uh -oh. God is good. Thank you, Father. You bless our food. You remove all sickness and disease from the midst of us. 
We'll never be sick of disease another day in our life, not now, here, after, forever. He bless us, he multiplies, and replenish the earth, and we subdue it. And Lord, for that, we're thankful. We're thankful for this plague. Thankful, Father. Until next time, guys. Be <clears throat> blessed. Trust God in everything you do. Because God will surely bring you through. Until next time, y'all. Peace, y'all.